Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our one and only personal break this evening and we'll be hopping on into three more booster boxes of Y Shorts Hollow Life Production Volume 2 for Matthew B. from Washington. So thank you so much Matthew for letting me open on up some more Hollow Life for you here on the channel and hope to find you some more awesome cards to add to your collection. I say some more awesome cards because Matthew actually got the first three boxes out of this case and did find two SPs out of those three boxes. Now we have gone through a lot more. These are boxes 10, 11, and 12 out of the case, just six remaining. And we haven't found anything since Matthew's first three boxes. Two SPs and the SSP are still hiding. Now, of course, depending on what we find here will give us a clue as to what's in those other six boxes. But very excited to see what we can find here. Maybe, maybe Matthew will go for a full sweep of the entire case. We've seen crazier, so you just never know. But all right, very exciting to get on into these boxes. Let's hop on into them by snapping into the corner. And I swear, every time I open up this set, it gets more and more exciting. Because I've always enjoyed checking out the Hollow Live, you know, Volume 1, Volume 2, the Premium Boosters, because I was like, oh, everyone's so cute looking. All these cards are so pretty and gorgeous. And now that I'm into Hollow Live, it just makes it that much cooler. Now, I will say, the VTubers I tend to gravitate towards, I mean, aside from Gouda, Gouda's great. Everyone loves Gouda, right? <laughs> I like that one meme video where it's just the gas, gas, gas song for the, uh, the road to 1 million and gorgeous boom um but my favorites outside of gouda so far is i'm obsessed with bijou now i love her humor but also kaela i don't know i just find watching her stream super relaxing i'll just put them on it's great what is this <laughs> all right so is that the kiara ssp i think so no, it's got uh, Iroha. I almost said Iroha to begin with, but Iroha SSP here. All right, all right. So now we know what the SSP is here. Very nice. I almost said Iroha. Dang it. I could have been correct. And then I was like, no, I think it's Kiara. I think it's darker. Because Kiara also has like a dark background, but that was, yeah, more lively here. But very nice SSP for Matthew's collection. Congratulations. Then we have Flare Rare. All right. So, of course, the big chase gone. But two SPs, two regular SPs, which the Gudo's like 300 bucks. Most of the SPs tend to be a bit cheaper, but there are still some pretty expensive ones. There's like something on this Mel card. Weird. Uh, but very nice. Congrats, Matthew. Boom, pack one. She was waiting. She was waiting for us. But yeah, I'm definitely going to collect all of the Bijou cards whenever those release. I don't know if up next we're going to be seeing like another extra booster or premium booster or if we're just going to get volume free at some point. Uh, but yeah, I've developed a problem. I was trying to stay away, right? This set's insane. 51. <laughs> 51 SPs. 51 SSPs. Like, oh, that's massive. I should not even look at it. And I was like, you know, I'm opening up a lot of this set. I should, I should do some research. Dangerous. It's a trap. It's a dangerous trap. To be fair, though, I've known about Gouda for a while. I just didn't know, like, what Gouda was. But, like, I've seen Gouda memes. <laughs> I remember when I went to MegaCon. I didn't go this year, but MegaCon Orlando the year before. I saw several dudes cosplaying Gouda, which I just thought was funny. Like, extra, extra meme level. And I was like, man, I want that, like, shark hoodie outfit. That's where it started. No, someone, someone saved me from myself. But ooh, what do we have here? We have Darkness, Double R, Anya. I'm also obsessed with watching everyone play Holocure. It looks so much fun. Not Soda, Rare. I will say Tiny Fan was being noisy today, so I just turned Tiny Fan off for this video. And it's so silent in here, it's actually kind of unsettling. I'm just here like, something's wrong. It's like, I'm more warm than normal. Because Tiny Fan really does make a big difference. There's like no air circulation in here. Um, especially under the ring light, and it's just, ugh. Right, it's not as bad, of course, as being outside in Florida, but it still is like really unpleasant. 
I don't know how I used to do do it without Tiny Fan back in the day. To be fair, most of those videos were not with these cameras, so they weren't as HD. You couldn't see like how how rough my makeup would get because it was like 720p. Everything looked good. I looked my skin looked so much better three years ago when we had like the webcams and everything. <laughs> But I've been actually going makeup free. I'm kind of lazy. To be honest, I've been kind of lazy. But also, aside from like my chin, don't look, don't look at my chin. I'm just going to put my head this way, which I normally do anyways, because I'm obsessed with making sure everything looks good focus wise on the monitor. Otherwise, my skin's been looking pretty good actually since I've started working out. See, I thought. Yeah, I was thinking initially Itoha, and then I was like, no, I think it's too dark. I think it's Kiara, and then it wasn't. Kiara, it was Itoha, and I could have just been super cool and said, oh, look, we found the Itoha SSP. Now I just have to hope that you guys believe me that, oh, I thought it was that one first. But not a bad one at all. I think, I mean, I don't know. There has, I feel like there hasn't been, like, a lot of sales on SSPs, but I feel like I saw that one at, like, 700 I think Strictly Broken was at like six ninety nine. So I'm not familiar with Iroha. It's part of the secret society. I will say I don't know much about the Japanese ones. Which is most of Hololive. I'm not familiar with the Japanese VTubers. I, I've seen a decent amount now. Well, not, not necessarily a decent amount, but more than I would have anticipated of the Hollow ID. Most, a lot of their streams have a lot of English. Muna, double R. So, of course, it's easier for me to consume that content. It's my, my elementary level of Japanese proficiency is like good for like going as a tourist, not necessarily watching a a live stream with memes. So, ooh, shiny, shiny, third foil. I know, only our second foil here. We have cat girl mode, Shion. Okaya. I like it though. Matthew woke up this morning and was like, you know what? Let's let's get three more boxes and see how that goes. Boom. <laughs> SSP pack one. Literally the first pack too. Craziness. All right, we're still looking for one more foil here. Choco. All right, here's our other foil. We do have Toa SR. I love her hat. It's adorable. Robocos on. Yeah, Subaru Double R and Matsuri Rare. All right, box one done. Here we go, box two. You have comment promo. Alrighty, next pack. Well, or first pack, I suppose. It is the next pack, but it's also the first pack of this box. Iris, double R. Iris had her 3D showcase this weekend. Coyote. Darkness, Flare, Mume, Botan.
Polka, the Blur, Marine, do we have Muna SR, Suisse, Rare, Anya, rare. That Vampire Hunter Fubuki card is hilarious. <laughs> I just love the way it looks. One thing I do appreciate about the Hollow Live sets is. Also, with them being so large, you get a lot of SRs of like commons, but you normally don't get that. All right, it doesn't feel great when you open up a box and it's like all common SRs, but you do get to like get foils of like funny pictures. I'm easily pleased, so I like it. This Okayu SR is pretty. Okayu SP SSP. What did we what did we pull for the shop? We pulled Koyori and Okayu out of a master case. The other case we did find the Gura SSP, and I was extremely jealous. In this case we have Iroha. We do have one more case. Subiru double R. Of course, still six boxes to go in this one. Still two SPs. We've only seen the two actually for for Matthew here, which we had what? We had a bay, I think. And Yoffi. I think I think those were our SPs. Matthew, if you can leave a comment, let me know. Cause I know after I'm done recording here, I'll get into like, oh, I have to slap on the intro and the outro and quick make my garbage thumbnails. I wish you know, it's just one of those things where it's not really feasible, right? Because, like, Matthew ordered the boxes today. I record them today. I'll upload it today. I ship them out today, hopefully, or tomorrow. Um, you know, I don't have time to, like, make good thumbnails. Like, the thumbnail, like, they look okay, but in terms of, like, what makes a good thumbnail, all my thumbnails on this channel are atrocious. And, like, I understand that. And I wonder how much it, like, holds people back from, like, discovering the channel. I would imagine a good amount. But they're like, I don't want to click on this video with this trash thumbnail. All right, last foil here we have. Are you feeling fine, Matsuri? SR. Roboko san. All right, so we know that Brian is. Or not Brian. Oh, I said Brian. It's Matthew B. And for some reason, I was thinking B is in Brian. It makes no sense. I don't know. I need caffeine. Anyways, Matthew here, not Brian. Did not do a complete sweep of the case. We know that. This box two just had three SRs. We'll see, though, if there's an SP hiding here in this box. We have a darkness promo. All right, here we go, pack one. Flare is super cute. I should check her out. I remember I picked out that Flare card as like my favorite from this set because I don't know, even the Gouda card's super cute too. I love that one, but something about just the little, little wood, woodland elf action going on is adorable. They're all, the only card I don't like is the Zaki Rose. It just doesn't do it for me. For like the, um, like the, the cards that are on the SSPs. I like this Ollie card a lot too. But I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll pick up the Flare SSP. It's relatively cheap. You know, I was thinking too about the Mel. The Mel SSP is relatively cheap as well. And I was like, maybe, maybe I'll just get those. And now I'm like, I should watch them before I buy them.
it's a good thing that I've been having to buy stuff like other stuff rather than fun stuff like business stuff it's good I've been having to buy that because otherwise I would have bought like way too many SSPs and then been like what am I going to do with all this but now that I watch Hololive is it really a problem y'all tell me <laughs> that Cali card's really cool too all these cards are so cool that's why I just love opening opening up the boxes because I'm like oh, I get to see all these gorgeous arts over and over and over again it's always the oh who are we gonna find for our SSP but also like the SPs like I said some of them are like pretty cheap but they all look nice oh. yeah I know the Gouda is expensive Right, they're cut. They're not soup. Most of them are not super expensive because, again, you get four per case. Which, when you think about it, though, your your chances of pulling a particular person are not very good because there's fifty one. It's like, yeah, you get four out of fifty one. It's not like four out of twelve. So, I'm surprised they're not more, personally. But I imagine the Suisse is probably pretty expensive. I'd imagine the Ina, maybe the Mume, Cali, Marine would be most expensive. What do we have here? Ooh, nice, Suisse, Foil, Yafi, Aqua. Polka, double R. A Caillou. Alright, what do we have? What do you have? Matsuri SR. Hato. So we have had Matsuri Suise. Was that was that Iroha, this box? No, the Iroha was the third foil of the previous box. Oh wait, no, though that was this box, because I, I was counting three. But no, we had the uh, SSP. Yeah, I think uh, we all got SRs in this box as well. So it should be two SPs hiding. I try to remember to my the best of my abilities what we've pulled. Cali double R. I try. Sometimes things get a little jumbled, but since this is pretty fresh, it's easier for me to remember. Coyote. All right, final pack here for Matthew. Finishing off with a rare Nene. All righty. Let me tidy on up. And we'll get to a recap here. Of course, highlight pack one, box one, being that Idoha Handmade Charm SSP. Let's go ahead and pan through our double R's here to get some repetition across the boxes. Quite a large set of double R's as well. And you're only getting four per box since you are getting three foils. Normally you get four to five, whether you find one or two foils. Uh, but this set has three, you only get four. Make Makes sense, a little trade-off there. Makes it harder to complete play sets, though. So let me move these piles over to the side. And yes, Handmade Charm Idoha SSP. And for our SRs, we do have eights. We had Matsuri, Suise, Iroha, Matsuri again, Okayu, Muna, Toa, and the Shion Cat Girl. For our promos, we did have the Darkness, Munchin on something, uh, Comets, and Fubuki. And that does wrap off this opening here for Matthew. So thank you so much for letting me open up three more boxes. I'm assuming you had a lucky feeling. Good job on trusting your instincts. Congrats on the Iroha SSP. And with that, 
It was our one and only opening here today. Wednesday, Black Diamond Hockey, Marvel What If. Not sure what will be opening, but those products are coming out this Wednesday. For those of you that are hockey fans and or Marvel fans, those are new products coming out this week. And then I'm actually going out of town. I'll be gone Thursday through Tuesday. I'll be gone for a bit. So nothing from me on Friday or this Saturday. Just giving you guys a little bit of an update. Other than that, I think it's time for our regular end of video cringe. If you guys enjoyed the opening, don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button. Comments for me. Let me know down below your thoughts on the set, your favorites, favorite member of Hololive not in this product. Let me know. I know a lot of people are big into Fumoko. They're too loud for me. I get scared by loud noises. They're cool, though. They're just not my thing. I'm a, I'm a Bijou stan. But let me know in the comments down below, like I said, your favorite member in this set and not in this set that you're looking forward to in a volume three or whatever. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Last but not least, before I wrap things on off, pack up this package, everyone's packages from this weekend, eBay mail, TCG player mail, and work on continuing to clean up and get dinner. It's my to-do list for uh, the next six hours. Uh, do have to go ahead and give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for your above and beyond supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. I mean, I know. I do, 100%. We do have four Black Label fans, Andin, Mako, MT, and Sean F. We also have four Gemmint fans, Bamboo, Geriatric Geek, Michael C., and Michael Bigelow. Well, thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. I don't know why I just thought of it now. I don't know how many of you all are listening still, but I remember seeing a meme about like what it means, like anime personality-wise, by where you put your glasses on up. And I did this, but this is not how I want to do it. Because I, I normally like doing this. The problem is, is I miss and I touch my lenses too much. So I've had to start doing this. I think this means you're like a villain or something. So don't don't I'm not I'm not spooky. Well. I don't think I'm spooky. Let me know my anime glasses archetype in the comments if you guys are still watching. But with that, that does it for this video. No more cringe. No more cringe. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join us in the next one. Bye!